day seven. It'll be our first day of the cruise. We will drive to the airport, drop off the rental car, take a taxi to Canada Place, and then get on the ship and head north to Alaska. We'll be going through Canada's Inside Passage during the night. This is the route we'll take on our cruise. And our captain will be Captain Kenneth Harstrom. We leave Maple Ridge for the last time early that morning and head to the airport to drop off our Once we've dropped off the rental car, we take our luggage and hail a taxi to take us to Canada Place. Canada Place is a convention center and also the cruise ship terminal for Vancouver. There are three ships docked when we get there. Seagulls heading back to land Over the man We'll not be able to check in until about noon, so I go looking around for a while, and then we get in line. We're one of the first ones there, and Deborah the Explorer is ready to head out on her adventure. And once we've checked in and got our passes, it's time to wait with several hundred other people. And then about two o'clock, it's time to head on to the ship and to get settled in. And then as we board the ship, we have to swipe our passes to let them know we're on board. They just docked this morning and offloaded a whole bunch of passengers. And now they're loading us and our luggage and all the supplies we need. They have a very fast turnaround, about eight hours. And they're getting fuel for our trip. Our ship will be the Norwegian Jewel. Here it is docked in Seattle from one of their promotional videos. Ocean waves are humming on the outer reef. These balmy days and sultry nights are a welcome relief. I had a It has 15 decks above water. It's over three football fields long, and it's wider than two football fields. Its cruising speed is 25 knots, and it can hold 2,394 passengers and 1,064 crew. Let's look around. On deck 12, we'll be eating at the Garden Buffet many times. There are 16 different dining options while you're here on the ship, and we'll eat at seven of them. We will usually eat breakfast and lunch at the Arden Buffet, since it has such a wide variety of foods.
Also on the 12th deck is the Great Outdoors. It's on the fan tail, the back of the ship, and it's a place where you can eat also and watch as the scenery goes by. I'll spend a lot of time out here too. We will not be eating at the Mexican restaurant. On the 12th deck in the middle of the ship are two swimming pools and the top cider's grill where you can get hamburgers and hot dogs and other things and sit and watch through the windows. We'll spend a lot of time here also and on the 13th deck above. Toward the front of the boat, on the 12th deck, is a fitness center and spa. We won't be using either one of these. Above them, on the 13th deck, is the Spinnamaker Lounge, which you can look directly forward and watch where the ship is going. And then we come, on the 6th deck, to the Tsar's Palace. This is one of the two main dining rooms. We will not be eating here, it's more formal. On the lower decks in the front, they have the Stardust Theater for different entertainment. We didn't go to those. And there are lounges, 16 of them, scattered all around the ship for drinking. On the eighth deck is the lifeboats and a deck you can walk around on. Now it's time to head to our room. Room number 5586 on the fifth deck located near the aft of the ship. And this is the Deborah porthole to look out. We'll be eating supper at Tempenyaki. It's a Japanese hibachi bar. Here, the cooking of the food is as much an experience as the eating. Oh, Japanese mistake, huh? Don't try this at home. This is my wife, happy wife, start cooking, huh? That is good for your meat. Chicken and filet mignon, huh? Enjoy, guys. After we get through eating, we go out on deck and watch the departure at 7 o'clock. It's still really light outside. And off we head, out of Vancouver, north to Alaska. As we go along, we see the coastal mountains of British Columbia.
people are already hitting the pools and swimming as the sun starts to set in front of us. Soon the sun is gone, and in the glow of the twilight, we sail on. It's unfortunate we'll be going through the Canadian Inside Passage during the dark and won't see any of it, for it'll be spectacular. Well, off we go. I am looking forward to a great adventure and I hope you are also. I will try to give you a smooth ride and take you to all the places that you want to go. That was a spectacular sunset to start off with wasn't it? Well bye for now, I will be working all night as we travel through the Canadian Inside Passage. Sorry you will not be able to see much, but we have a whole lot more to see where we are going. And that brings us to the end of day seven.